Good morning, everyone. We are July 2nd, and today is just about 7.30, and I wanted to share with you guys a typical day behind the scenes of Twin Stitches Designs. Kind of going through how much time I really spend designing, how much time I spend knitting. I think that uh, not a lot of people realize I don't spend a lot of time knitting. It's a lot more behind the scenes, and I just kind of want to share it all with you. I do get asked uh, questions from time to time on uh, different aspects of the business, how much time I really get knitting, how much work is it behind the scenes. So I just thought it'd be fun to share a typical day. I do still have my mom duties and um, doing the business, the knitting. So I'm going to be just sharing everything with you all. This morning while the girls are having their little breakfast, I'm having my morning cup of coffee and I'm trying to answer any emails or replies, messages, Instagram, um, on my phone. What I usually like to do first is answer any easy things on my phone. And uh, if there's anything more complicated, then I like to go on my laptop later this morning whenever I have a chance with the girls and uh, answer those more. So that would be more math questions, things that are a little bit more complicated. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. It's just about 8 a.m. and the girls are done their breakfast and I am ready to start cleaning. I answered a few emails, a few little things on Instagram. Uh, but I do have more to do in a little bit. I am hoping to do, you know, like vacuum up the floors, clean the floors, pick up, start laundry, all of those mom duties. She has a little bit of a cough. Um, yeah, so all of those mom duties that I'm going to be planning on doing, haven't done any knitting yet, but uh, I'm hoping probably later this morning. No, tush passa, merci. And yeah, so like I said, right now it is just going to be cleaning, picking up after the girls. And then um, hopefully later on this morning, I'm going to bring them outside and then I can knit while they play outside. While the girls are having uh, granola and yogurt this morning, I am eating my breakfast, but at the same time, I'm printing out my invoices for the month of June. This can be, um, I print out invoices for my tech editing, for my Ravelry fees, my Ravelry, and I keep everything all together in a nice um, binder. So everything is there that I need um, just to be able to have everything organized. I like printing it off um, for taxes and just to be able to have everything in one spot. So that's any type of expense. I go through my laptop and only print it out about once a month. And I find that this keeps me organized and on track. I, it's about, what time is it? 9, 5, 9.05. I've not knit yet. Um, oh, one needs my help. I've cleaned. Um, all the house is clean. Okay, all right. I'll show you. Girls, say hi. Hi. I cleaned the house. I got everything done. I have my first load of laundry. I cleaned up, vacuumed, um, girls all changed, dressed and everything ready to go. So this morning I am planning either bringing them outside or downstairs in our playroom. I'm not sure yet which one. And uh, then, like I said, I'm going to be getting some knitting done. I also have to take a photo this morning for my Instagram post. That's another big behind the scenes where you don't necessarily see a lot of people talking about it. Um, posting for Instagram, I want to make sure that what I post is on brand for me and also that kind of flows with my aesthetic. I won't just post anything. I want to make sure that all the photos kind of look alike, um, have the same aesthetic. People know when you see my photo, oh, okay, that must be Julie because, you know, it looks the same as you can see. I was interrupted by this little munchkin. So like I was saying, your Instagram post, you really want to make sure that it reflects your style, your business style, what you're trying to convey and really is on the same page, Yay. which is very difficult to do with two toddlers. So sometimes I try to take photos in advance um, when they're sleeping, when I have good lighting of a few little things. So I have them in the books that whenever they're having a crazy day um, that I don't have to worry about trying to set up and take photos. So that is really something you maybe want to look into. What is your style? What is your aesthetic? What do you like? Um, definitely don't go copying anybody. But if there's something in aesthetic you like, like dark colors, light colors, um, you can copy that type of style. But definitely don't try and match somebody else's. S go what speaks to you. Go on Pinterest. 
um, research on Instagram. What are the types of things that you like? And I think that will help you develop your own brand and business. So hopefully that's a little helpful. Thought it would be fun to share with you guys so I, I'm starting a new project and I needed to come down here for a project bag and I figured I would show you my yarn stash so this is where all the magic happens when I do um, a podcast I'll sit here with this chair so this is um, our playroom for the girls to show you quickly so this is our fun playroom that I'm always viewing and then this is all yarn so literally all of that is nitpicks which I know is a little crazy but uh, what can I say? I'm obsessed with nitpicks. So this is all Wool of the Andes uh, tweed. This is their Mighty Stitch, which I'm super, super excited and is going to be my cast on. So this is in their Cream, Marina, and then Fairy Tale. I'm going to be doing two different blankets for the girls, one with these two held together and then one with these two. So that is really, really exciting. I also have the Dishy Cones. I'll go through quickly for you guys. Um, this is their more Dishy Cones. That is their Dishy, Dishy Twist. And then Dishy um, Multi. This is all stroll hand painted. They're aloft. Um, some static, some billow. That is stroll, stroll tweed. Um, Hawthorne hand painted. Hawthorne speckle, um, not hand painted, Hawthorne kettle dye. Hawthorne speckle. Their gloss, mules. Their stroll, Felici, stroll tweed, Caprata, Chroma. Um, and then City Tweed for a fun design in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna be, um, this is what I'm gonna be currently knitting up, which I am so excited. And by the way, look how ridiculously soft this is. And it's so beautiful. So this is their Mighty Stitch. And I just need a fun project bag. So now I'm just gonna go through. That's something I don't have a ton of is project bags. So um, I'm gonna be going through figuring out the perfect project bag for um, that sweater so that the girls don't get at it. Oh, and by the way, I totally have to show you this little guy. He stays in my stash pretty far up because I don't want the girls to get to him, but that's also, I mean, you can grab this on the Nitpicks website. It is so stinking cute. I'll just put this little guy right here. He's watching my stash for me to make sure that nobody gets to it. So yeah, that is uh, my stash. Sometimes I'll come down here. Let me, um, I'll come down here and um, try and figure out a new design. Um, I love coming down here for inspiration. I find this yarn speaks to me a lot more um, when I just stare at it and put color combinations together. Also, I love putting the bases together. Um, so like this is more DK to worsted. Uh, that's my worsted. Uh, that's all fingering. Most of that is all fingering and then DK because sometimes you'll put two and two together and you may not realize that they go together un until you put them side by side. So I really like doing that um, with the yarn. It's just 10 a.m. and I'm outside with the girls. I just came out. I just finished printing off everything, uh, getting everything sorted out. I got my project bag and my knitting. So, and I also did my Instagram post. So all of that is up. And like I said, I haven't even knit a stitch today. So right now I'm gonna sit for however long I can and get as much knitting done on this blanket as possible. I'm really excited to cast it on and use the Mighty Stitch. Um, it is something, a yarn that I've always wanted to try. So I'm super excited and Chloe is obsessed with it. She keeps putting her head and she, usually they're not fussy about my yarn, but for some odd reason, both of them just wanna hold this yarn. Chloe puts her head on it, rest is, like she'll just like kind of cuddle it. So I'm really hoping they're gonna love this. I'm also debating, oh, you guys know me and I'm a little crazy. I'm debating because I'm gonna try and knit the blanket in a week. It's on US, like I think I'm using 15 or 17s and I'm holding worsted weight double. We'll see. Because what I would love to do is, I already knit the giraffe for, for one of the girls, and I'd love to make them each a blanket, and then uh, I wanted to do the little bunny by, um, the Christopher Bunny by Susan B. Anderson. I just think it'd be amazing to do like each of them a blanket and then each of them a stuffed toy. That would be, that would be so adorable. And then give it to them at the same time, and they can pick the blanket and they can pick their stuffy. So I think it'd be really fun and cute. So 
you know what, that might be on my needles very, very soon. So it turns out I got zero knitting done because, um, well, here's the yarn. I was able to get my needles set, get everything ready. I sat down and the girls wanted me to push them on the swings, which is, guys, it's fine and um, doesn't bother me one bit. So I played with them and I just, uh, we came in, it's about 11.30 and I filled up their kiddie pools and they have like a water table. So I filled those up because it's supposed to be so hot today. And I know that when they're playing in the pool, then I will just be sitting down and knitting. So that I'm totally okay with. I'm hoping to really cast on this blanket today. And like I said, um, get it done in a week. We'll see, we'll see. It would be about like five-ish inches a day on a blanket, which holding it double with big needles, maybe a week, week and a half, but yeah. So I'm about to make, start making lunch for everybody and then uh, put them in their swimsuits and we'll go outside for the afternoon. I also wanna mention that when I'm gonna be going outside with the girls and uh, during my husband's lunch, I do like to try and get out my laptop and try to answer any questions and emails that are a little bit more um, like math and things like that if there's issues with a pattern. So those I try and answer when my husband's around because I don't wanna be interrupted as much with the girls. And uh, yeah, so when I know that they're really occupied or busy, uh, we'll do that and I try to get those done. So up to today, I did, um, like I said, my Instagram posts, I took my photos. Um, we did all the printing for the month, got everything organized for paperwork. I did um, organize my new project, my new design. And that's another big thing when you are designing is organizing your designs. So looking at your deadlines, I love to do to-do lists. That is one of my favorite things to do is I make lists and I have it on my notes in my phone. So I have, okay, which collabs do I have? Um, is there a certain date that those need to be knit by? Um, and then I break it down by week. So I try and say, okay, do I have anything due this week? Do I have to knit this week? So I, I try and, and organize myself in that way. And hopefully that can help you guys too. Let's try this again. See if we can knit outside. Um, as always, I have my knitting and I haven't cast on yet. <laughs> but I have the girls outside in their bathing suits all lathered up with suntan lotion. It's about 12 o'clock right now. We just all had lunch and it is so beautiful and so warm. So I think I will get knitting done. I brought my speaker, our waters. It's just gonna be a really fun afternoon. So I'm hoping if I can get a few hours of knitting and then this afternoon when we go in, then I will um, do more of the admin things of on my laptop. And um, more on the to-do list, I'm trying to figure out, I need to get ready for the test knit call. So different types of things. I am now finally sitting down um, on my computer. So the next thing that I really do um, is check out the Ravelry group. Uh, is there any messages I need to respond to? I also, because we were July 1st in a new quarter, I closed down the um, Stash Busters Cal. I'm gonna be pulling on prizes. I'm gonna have to do that video and uh, create new groups for the FO threads and all of that. So that's all things that are all behind the scenes, uh, checking out the Ravelry groups and making sure I like doing that on my laptop because um, it's just easier than my phone. Also, the other thing is that I um, check it out my emails. So I responded to everybody. There was a math question. So all of those are all done. My emails are up to date. Um, I was able to knit a little bit outside, probably about 40, 45 minutes between, you know, taking care of the girls, making sure they're okay, uh, filling up the little tiny water table. So it's not always like an hour to two hours of knitting, obviously not disturbed. Um, like I said, it's two o'clock. We came in, I gave them a bath. And now I'm finally sitting down responding to all of that. So I've been at my computer for about 20-ish minutes. Um, so as you can see, I don't get a ton of knitting time. My days are mostly consumed with a ton of admin things. And those are the days where the girls are cooperative with me. Um, there's some days where they're cranky and they need me uh, to cuddle them. And that's exactly what I do. So if ever I don't answer to your emails, just please know that um, it's because these little ones need me a little bit more. And I always get to you guys whenever I possibly can. The next thing on my to-do list uh, that I try and do every few days is go on YouTube. Are there any comments? Um, do I have to reply to any comments? All of those things are, you know, social media. It's, it's all behind the scenes of a business that 
I don't think anybody really talks about and shows you guys and how much work there really is um, and I haven't even gone today. I was supposed to try get the Google forms up for my new test knit of the cardigan. Um, I need to get that done. Uh, I sent it off to my tech editor yesterday, so I'm looking for the final yardages and all of that. So whenever I get that, then the test knit call needs to go up. I also need to take photos for the test knit. So it's just so busy and there's so much work to do um, behind the scenes. And that's why I also think it's so great when, um, you know, when, when designers really discuss everything going on, so then you understand why the price of a pattern is what it is and it's not free because it takes a lot of work and a lot of those things you don't necessarily see in the background. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be fun for you to really see everything. So I'm gonna sit here for as long as the girls let me and I'm gonna keep on working. I'm gonna hopefully maybe try my Google forums. Oh, and the other thing is my website. So on the other hand that I also need to do is I do blog posts. I make sure that all my links are up to date um, because when you go and click through my link in my profile, um, all of that is all in my website linked. So I gotta make sure that those are up to date, that my website's up to date. Is there any blogs that I need to post? Is there anything that I need to write? Um, I also need to get my month organized. I want to make sure that the month of July I have certain things that need to go up in YouTube videos and tutorials. So yeah, all of that. All so. right, you guys, it's about 4.30 and my husband just finished work. So now I'm going to sit at my computer for hopefully a half hour to an hour and do the Google forums for the testnet call, get everything ready for it, um, get the photo, everything all set. So that's going to be um, up next. I'm in front of my computer so you see it. Um, and yeah, I look exhausted. <laughs> um, and then the next thing on my to-do list is going to be um, getting everything set for a new design. So now I'm gonna go into um, looking at my inspiration for color work and all of those things. So try and come up with some new designs at the same time, um, all while trying to do my day-to-day -day task. So these are all the extra things that um, I'm doing. And like I said, I decide what I'm gonna be doing this month. And the month of July, I have a to-do list in my brain of what needs to happen, what are the designs that need to happen, what are the yarns I'm planning on using. Um, I always have these so that I can start my month off fresh and say, okay, this week I need to do um, I need to knit this up, this needs to be done, um, this needs to be designed, this needs to be written up. So whatever needs to be done, I make sure that I do them by week and then I can really make sure by the end of the month that I get everything that I need to get done and that way I stay on track with everything as long as nobody gets sick and all of that. So that's a little bit on my um, planning end. It is about 6.30 and I'm just about to have supper. I got all my supper ready and I have my knitting. So I worked about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes earlier while my husband was watching the girls. And um, I was able to get uh, two charts written up, uh, the Google forums done, uh, the photo done for the cardigan. So everything is done and ready to go. I'm just waiting for the final yardage estimate and then that test knit call is gonna go live. So everything is ready. Um, to pretty much hit go on that one and uh, that's it so I got a lot done in that one hour and as you can see like today I barely got any knitting done so I did cast on the blanket so here it is and I knit this much this is the wrong side but whatever um, and then that's it so that's all the knitting I got done about 40 minutes an hour um, except for that it was taking care of the girls all day and um, working on all of the admin things at night, that's when I get the most knitting time uh, when the girls are sleeping. So I really try and just knit all night long and not do any work. But that's also the nights where I need to do podcasts and also edit this vlog. So those all take up time from the knitting. So you really see that I don't get a ton of knitting time and it's more um, uh, trying to get everything done and trying to get everything organized. So yeah, so I'm gonna be sitting down tonight working away on my knitting, uh, my blanket. I'm so tempted on casting on one of the new um, things that I just uh, charted up and it's, it's taking me everything, but I really need to finish this blanket. I want this blanket. So yeah, if it were up to me, I would cast on all, all the things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, let me know what type of content you love. And um, if you have any questions, as always, plop them down below here and I'll answer you whenever I possibly can. And until next time, you guys, happy knitting. Bye.